Now today we're doing something we've never done RVing. A little nervous about it. Today we want to show you guys pictured rocks. But we didn't just want to show you pictured rocks from up above. We didn't even want to show you pictured rocks from like a tour boat. We're going to show you pictured rocks from a pontoon boat that we are renting. And we're really hoping the weather holds up. And I'm really hoping that we don't crash the boat or do anything crazy. <laughs> You can see pictured rocks lots of different ways. Um, a couple days ago, we saw it from up above. Went to uh, Miner's Castle, and then we also checked out Miner's Falls. Oh, wow. They even got a little window for kids. Oh. Look at this. That just literally took my breath away. That is incredible. Oh. oh yeah. You can see all the way down to the bottom. Did you know this is my favorite color? That's why I'm loving Michigan, because I see my favorite color all the time. That green-blue water is like my favorite. Oh, the boat made some waves. That's awesome. Look at that. So that's going to be us, probably. Right? Is that about the right size? So this is what, when people talk about pictured rocks, they're talking about all this the sandstone and the minerals and the different colors that are brought out from this. But it's, it's hard to see it as well from up here. But you've got about a 15 mile stretch along Lake Superior, which is behind me, where you can see all these pictured rocks. And it's, it's one of the, I mean, definitely one of the top things you'll hear about in the Upper Peninsula, top things in Michigan, like absolutely gorgeous to see. So five minutes down the road from where we were at uh, is Miners Falls. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is like a mile and a half round trip. We're hitting all the super long hikes with our kids. <laughs> We're doing what we can do. JJ's ready to go, man. See you later, bud. Bye bye. This trail with these trees just makes you feel small, doesn't it? It does. There's just something about the way they're just tall and slim and The everywhere. sun kind of just like sprinkles throughout them and glistens. It's really cool. JJ's loving it. He's doing good, man. Is He's this your first like hike you've done? I, 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 All by I, yourself? Tree. Tree. Yeah, very good. Oh, they're big trees. I agree, bud. It's pretty cool. About ready, girl? Almost. Almost. What about you? You've been eating your breakfast? Wow. He's been, he's been doing that. The yesterday he ate a bowl of cereal all by himself. What? He wanted to be a big boy. He didn't even sit in his seat. He wanted to sit in a chair and eat a bowl of cereal. <laughs> you go, boy. Definitely one of the advantages of having a residential fridge. Ah! Every time. All right, so we've made it to check-in. Dude, we're just getting the skinny on the boat. They're gonna do an inspection, I'm sure. He's telling the ins and outs of everything. I'm not saying there's no way I would have done this if it was just us, but I'm definitely way more comfortable doing this with Stuart and their family. <laughs> so he's got way more experience on a boat than I do. And it's gonna get probably a little choppy today, so we're seeing what's gonna happen. Wow, are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited. And we may be loading up on Dramamine because <laughs> it's, <laughs> this is as calm as it gets today. <laughs> uh, yeah. Where are we going, JJ? Are you the captain? Here, 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 here. So that's the farthest point, an hour and a half. Yeah, Spray Falls. Okay. So today there's a weather advisory starting at noon. So our rental's already cut short, an hour short, because all small small boats need to be in by noon so we're an hour 
off on our on our boat but it's better than not getting out at all so I guess when you rent a boat if your weather's bad and they're already booked out to reschedule you're just kind of out so we were keeping our fingers crossed and saying our prayer for good weather so at least hopefully we get three good hours today but it may get pretty choppy because the wind is coming. So we'll see how it goes today. As far as the check-in process, um, I wasn't down here the whole time with Stuart, but they went over, I'm sure, with Stuart, like everything having to do with the boat. Uh, they let you look at the prop. You want to make sure you take pictures, video, the condition of the boat so that when you get back, there's not disagreements on what was or wasn't the case and the whole deal, uh, which we did. So we are now uh, checking out the map, see if we know where in the world we're going. We're going that way. Staying along the shore once we get out here. Whoa. Just give an idea what choppy is. So right now the wind is around eight miles an hour. By the time we get done, it's gonna be around 12 miles an hour. So just give an idea of kind of, you know, if you look out, it's 15 mile per hour winds that day. Probably not a good day to get on a small boat. <laughs> Full speed ahead, Captain. This is it. Yeah. Where are we going right now? Well, we don't even have a speed. We're, 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 we're tacked out of 5,000 RPMs. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whopping 60 horsepower. <laughs> is he wearing a life jacket? That's a great idea. He's so solemn, buddy. He is. He's our solemn boy. This is his happy face. My hair looks great. So we hauled it out here for almost an hour. Because we only have three hours instead of four, we're not going to be able to make it to the falls we want to make it to. But check this out. This is pictured rocks. Oh my goodness, babe. Oh, look at that arch. Isn't that incredible? incredible. Who's swimming? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> We're gonna see how the hand launch. This is his first hand launch here. Yeah, you nailed it. Alright. I'll take that as a win. It's not in the water, it's a win. I'm starting to change my mind. <laughs> the girls are and Lindsay are gonna hop in the water. They said it looked refreshing. <laughs> Have fun with that. Here, take, take this in case it shrinks off. Y'all jump and go. I'm sliding. Oh, you're not jumping? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that is frigid <laughs> my plan was to go further in that cave but you made it pretty far hey, about I three feet i jumped kind of jumped in <laughs> i did the superior plunge right this is like superior right i'm pretty sure i can't make fun of her i didn't even get out of the boat so. <laughs> yeah the kids said no never mind <laughs> <laughs> after they saw that no i gotta do something with this hair this is getting nuts in it been at a pontoon boat today to come out and explore pictured rocks and this is incredible. the colors of the rock but then like you know when stuff is falling down because it's sandstone like you get these arches and man it's just so beautiful definitely the way to see it like you wouldn't see hardly any of this from the top you get all these different colors what colors do you see Hensley look at all those colors isn't that crazy wow Or you can do kayak tours or our plan 
was to bring our own kayak on our boat so that we could get out and explore on the kayak and stand up boards, but because of the weather we didn't get to do that. But it's definitely another awesome choice to get out on the water and get to get up close to these rocks and go through the archway. Look at this. That is gorgeous. That is so cool. I think the wind's picking up a little bit too, so it's getting closer and closer to noon when the wind was supposed to start. I have no clue what this microphone's doing right now. Uh, this is Miner's Beach over here. Looks like they do kayak rentals in there too. Miner's Castle, is that what we think, right? I get that, nail that? I'll say like it's a big difference between that four hours and three hours amount of time. I think we had four hours, like we felt kind of rushed today with just three hours. So I think it's a big deal to be able to have that four hours um, out. But still the added flexibility of being on our own boat versus if we we're like on a guided kayak tour, or if we're on the tour boat, like um, it's been a pretty good fit for what we wanted to do today. Miner's Castle, you can see that's where we were standing uh, the other day looking down and now we're down here looking, looking up. It's definitely cool seeing it from both views, seeing it from above and below is completely different views. It's really cool. Tiny little caverns almost. <laughs> we got spray. Hold on. So cool. That is awesome, isn't it? Wow, that is awesome. This tour boat thinks it's awesome too. <laughs> They're giving them everything. Giving everybody a turn. Yep. Wow. What do you think about renting a boat? That's the first time we've done that. It was great because we could take our time. Mm -hmm. um, we had our own space because you know, right now you're having to wear a mask and keep your distance. Yeah. We could just leisurely take our time. If something struck our fancy, we could, you know, spend more time in that area. And it was just very customizable doing it that mm -hmm. way. We looked at how much it would cost to do the tour of Pictured Rock on the tour boat. And I mean, it was a little bit more, but I would say it was totally worth it. Well, the tour with the boat was gonna be around hundred bucks for our family uh, versus renting a boat the size that we got was around 200 bucks ish, two to 250. 250 plus gas. So you're looking at, you know, two to three times the cost to do your personal boat over the tour boat. But if you do it with another family, that split in half, and that made them really close, almost the same in cost for us. Thank you, Team Journey on Patreon, for recommending us taking out a mm -hmm. private boat. I never would have actually even considered that or thought about that as an option. So you guys are awesome and make make this adventure even more adventurous for us. So thank you guys. But we hope you guys have a great week. Thank you for allowing us into your home and we'll catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. Bye.